Good day everyone! Today we will be dealing with applications on addition and subtraction of fractions. Let's have example number 1. Tessie sent two packages by mail. The first package weighed 1 and 3 4 kilograms and the other 2 and 1 4 kilograms. What is the total weight of the packages? So our keyword here is the total weight. Therefore, we need to add. So to find for the total weight of the two packages, we need to add. So our equation here, following the SM method, the equation, solution, and the answer, we write first the equation which is 1 and 3 fourth plus 2 and 1 fourth is equal to n. Then we will solve this. Since the equation or the fractions are similar fractions, we can just ra add right away. So we add right away the numerators which is 3 plus 1, that is 4 then copy the denominator which is also 4 then we also add the whole numbers which is 1 plus 2 we have 3 and as you can see this fraction is an improper fraction therefore we can regroup this 4 over 4 it can it's 1 then we add 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 therefore our final answer is for the question what is the total weight of the packages so the total weight of the packages is 4 kilograms. Next, Mrs. Miranda, a stall owner at the Tutuban Center, sold 21 and 1 half meters from a rolling containing 50 meters of curtain materials. How many meters of the material are still unsold? So the question is asking for the unsold materials. That means we need to subtract. So following the ESSA form, we have write the equation as 50 meters so that's the total material that mrs miranda has minus 21 and one half equals n then we solve 50 minus 21 and one half so we regroup this 50 we will make it to 49 and 2 over 2 so 49 and 2, 2 over 2 is still equal to 50. So why did I write here 2 over 2 instead of 3 over 3 or 4 over 4 and so on? So that I can easily subtract that to 21 and 1 half since the fractions are similar. The denominator is still 2. So we have 2 minus 1, that is 1. Copy the denominator. Then we... Uh, subtract the whole number which is 49 minus 21 that is 28 so our final answer how many meters of the material are still unsold the answer is 28 and one half meters next Trina weighs 38 and one half kilograms while Kate weighs 41 and 3 4 kilograms how much heavier is Kate than Trina so this kind of problem involves subtraction of fraction. So our equation following the SM method is 41 and 3 fourth minus 38 and 1 half equals n. So we know that it is a subtraction because the, from the question here, how much heavier is Kate than Trina? So let's solve. We have it's the similar fraction. So what we're gonna do is cross multiply using the butterfly method, right? So using the butterfly method, we cross multiply these numbers. We have 2 times 3, that is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. Then we subtract the new numerators, which is 2. Then multiply the denominators, which is 4 times 2, it's 8. Then you can also subtract the whole number. So 41 minus uh, 38, that is 3. And we simplify 2, 8, that is 1 fourth. So, and then copy the whole number. Our answer now is how much heavier is Kate than Trina? Kate is heavier of 3 and 1 half kilograms than Trina. 
Next example, we have Diego is a juice vendor. He used 1 kilogram of sugar for buko juice and 2 and 3 fourth kilograms for pineapple juice. If he had 6 kilograms of sugar, how much sugar was left? So in this kind of um, problem, we need two operations to perform. So we have, so the total sugar that he had is 6 kilograms. So we write that. Then we subtract it from the total number of kilograms that he used for buko juice and pineapple juice. So we add first this one and one half kilogram plus two and three fourth kilogram before we subtract it from the six. Then we solve. So following the gemdas rule, you need to perform what's inside the parenthesis before you perform what's outside or before you perform this operation here. So we have one and one half plus two and three fourth. The fractions are dissimilar, so we need to use the butterfly method by cross multiplying four times one, that is four, and two times three, that is six. Then add the two numerators, we have 10 over the denominators, two times four is eight. We also add the whole number, which is 1 plus 2, that is 3. So the total sugar that Diego used is 3 and 10 over 8. Then we simplify this first since this is an improper fraction. We uh, divide 10, divided by 8, and this is 1, 8, this is 2. So 1 and 2 eighths. So this 10 and 10 over 8 is equal to 1 and 2 8. Then we can add this 1 to 3. We have 4. Then we simplify the 2 8. That is 1 fourth. So the total um, sugar that he used is 4 and 1 fourth kilogram. So this is the time that we can now subtract it from 6. So 6 minus 4 and 1 fourth. So this is now our new equation. We have 6 and 6 minus... 6 minus 4 and 1 fourth is equal to n. Then we regroup the 6, we'll make it 5 and 4 fourths. So it's easier for us to subtract this to 1 fourth. So 5 and 4 fourth minus 4 and 1 fourth. We have 4 minus 1 is 3. Copy the denominator and 5 minus 4 is 1. So the answer is 1 and 3 fourths. How much sugar was left is 1 and 3 4 kilograms. So this is the final answer.